a lot of people think that responsive is just you know squeezing things down and stacking them in some order no it is not like that we have to change a lot of things for mobile screens in today's video we are going to talk about adaptive versus you know responsive layouts and how we actually tackle them when we design a landing page or website for a business so if you are looking for a business landing page design or development project you can always contact me uh, so this is one of the projects i'm going to share with you uh, how we actually adopt and change the responsive view on a mobile screen for better conversion and uh, better engagement from the customers or your clients so if you are any business or uh, this this website is basically a landing page for bridge tax advisors and you can see over here here we have on the left this is a totally different layout uh, we have heading over here uh, some of the review uh, some of the text or bullet points over here form over here uh, these are a few badges we call them badges for credibility and uh, we have images and their achievements and everything so on the right we have the mobile revised version uh, where we are showing uh, like you can see the images have been moved up because uh, human beings we are gravitated towards the images we are going to you know have more empathy towards the images and uh, here we have the form uh, it is just below the image and we have the badges over here this one is just at the bottom and rest is over here and uh, you can see this is how we actually change some of the things or layouts like you can see over here here this image was not very important so i moved it at the bottom of the tax services we provide section and uh, then uh, one more thing you have to take care is this links so whenever you are uh, on a mobile screen or uh, you know uh, you are designing for mobile screen any website business website you have to take care of the links because uh, if we click over here it it is almost like 20 pixels apart from top and bottom so i am giving like 40 pixels of around you know the tap around over here i think they should be more apart but this is good enough because uh, on on a mobile screen uh, the tap size is almost like 40 pixels so you have to think uh, in terms of your fingers or thumbs that user can easily tap on these links so this is uh, one more thing you have to take care of other than that um, this is uh, my recent design for bridge text advisors i am doing like um, i have done like more than 30 or 40 plus uh, us business landing pages and design and development for the ppc campaigns like you can see over here i have a partner in uh, usa who does all the google ads and everything for these pages so uh, this is one of the page and we we also did this vigam law bcas bcas law and a uh, few more other designs uh, so these are few are the tips which i wanted to share with you uh, with regards to responsive or adaptive layout for mobile and desktop versions so whenever you are going to shift to smaller screen size you have to change your layout at least uh, in the top section if you are designing a landing page so uh, if you have any queries if you want to ask any question about landing page business landing page design or startup landing page designs or development uh, do let me know in the comment section below uh, I will reply you over there or you can visit my website prodesign.tech where we actually tackle SaaS landing pages or you know the design and development of business landing pages like these and also individuals coaches they can come up to me because this is how their pages will look like so this is uh, my uh, two cents on adaptive or responsive layouts a lot of people think that responsive is just you know squeezing things down and stacking them in in some order no it is not like that we have to change a lot of things for mobile screens so 
that is uh, all for today's lesson uh, i hope you have enjoyed and learned something new i will meet you in another video till then take care and bye bye